Listen to your battery-powered radio for instructions and information concerning community... Let's dive into a topic that's as intriguing as it is controversial. The Three Self Church in China and its unique relationship with the Communist Party. What makes this connection particularly fascinating is the way it mirrors or claims to mirror a religious concept, the Christian Trinity. Imagine a church that not only practices religion but also sings praises of the political regime. This is the reality of the Three Self Church in China, a Protestant church that operates under the watchful eyes of the Communist Party. The church's leader, Pastor Xu Xiaohong, took an audacious step by comparing the church, the party, and the Chinese government to a trinity, suggesting that they are three entities, but of one essence in their goals and functions. During significant gatherings, congregations of the Three Self Church have been known to sing the March of the Volunteers, China's national anthem, with fervor. These words stand up those who refuse to be slaves. With our flesh and blood, let's build our newest great wall, are sung not just in patriotism, but in spiritual synchronization with the state. Pastor Xu doesn't stop there. He extols the virtues of President Xi Jinping and credits the Communist Party with uplifting the Chinese people over the past century. According to him, the party's leadership transformed China into a prosperous and strong nation, deserving of a high standing among world powers. But here's the catch. The songs emerging from these Christian congregations aren't the hymns or gospel music you might expect. Instead, they are tunes that glorify political resilience and national triumph. Xu even speaks of a triumphant song for the new era that resonates not with traditional Christian themes, but with the ethos of the Chinese Communist Party. This blending of political fervor with religious devotion raises profound questions. Is the Three Self Church still a religious institution or has it morphed into a political tool? And what does this mean for the freedom of religious expression in China? Understanding this trinity of church, party, and state gives us a unique lens through which to view the intersection of religion and politics in China. It challenges the conventional separation of church and state advocated in many other parts of the world and underscores the complex nature of religious freedom in a tightly controlled society. So what do you think about this intertwining of faith and governance? Is it a pragmatic adaptation or a troubling compromise of spiritual integrity? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and if you found this exploration enlightening, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content that dives deep into history's intriguing facets. See you in the next video.